Sky Mobile sponsors the transfer window on Sky Sports News. So let's talk to Paul Merson about the situation involving Mo Salah. Right decision from Liverpool to reject this bid from Al Ittihad? He's one of the best players in the world. It's, it's, it's a hard one. He's 31 years of age, 150 million. If he's selling for 150 million, what can you bring in with the 150 million? They're not going to be better than Salah, not going to get as many goals as Salah. It's such a hard one. But at the same time, are they going to win the league this season? I don't think so. So do you take the money and try and rebuild and say, right, we've got to try and win the Premier League within the next four years? It's a hard one. You know, I don't want to see him go. I'm a massive fan of Salah. He scores goals for fun. And as I say, he's one of the best players in the world. But with another week of the window to go, you know, with the money they're throwing around over there, they might even just come and say, well, it's 200 million. And then, then I think it's a worry. So I was going to say, what amount of money do you think would be irresistible to Liverpool and Fenway Sports Group? I would say 200 million. I think 200 million, I think... Yeah, I just don't see how you can, you can for a 31-year-old. You know, and if they don't win the league this year, he's 32 next year. It soon starts going quickly, 32, 33. You know, before then, the goals will start drift, going, cutting away because of his age. So it, it's going to be a hard one. 200 million would be irresistible. So how perilous is this situation right now for Liverpool? How stressful also for Jurgen Klopp? Oh, majorly, 100%. You know, if, if Salah goes, you, you're talking about not even in the top four challenge race, in my opinion. I think that's highly, how highly rated I think of him. But with another week to go, you've got to think of the lad, the, the, the wages that are getting put around. I, I heard one and a half million a week. You know, he, that's going to turn his head. You know, he ain't going to be happy. It's a big worry for Jurgen Klopp. There's no doubt about that. It's not a nice position to be in. But who would you rather have unhappy, Jurgen Klopp or Mo Salah? If Mo wants to go because the money is there, both for him and for Liverpool, but Jurgen doesn't want him to go, one of them will end up being upset. Yeah, I mean, you've got to keep Jurgen Klopp happy, surely. I mean, he's the manager of the football club. He's looking after the whole 25 players in the squad. So, for me, it'll be him, but he will want him to stay. And if he does go, that won't be through him. That'll be through upstairs. Mm -hmm. Then he will get disheartened. You know, he's trying to do a job and trying to take Liverpool back to winning the Premier League again. That's going to be made very difficult. It doesn't matter if he has, 100, if he has 200 million. Where's he going to spend it with the window shutting? It's not just the goals that Liverpool would lose if Salah were to go. Also, as you mentioned, he's, he's over 30 years of age. He is a leader in that team, along with, well, Jordan Henderson was, hmm. Fabinho was, Firmino was, James Milner was. They're all no longer at Anfield. Can they afford to lose another leader? It, 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 he leads by... He leads, you know, he's not a, a shouter. He's someone who leads by his goals and his performances on the pitch. It's, it's a hard one. You, you know, it's all right me sitting here saying, oh, you can't turn it down. It, you, you know, it's, it's someone else's money. It's a business and, and they've got 150. If that gets to 200 million, I don't see him winning the league this year. I don't see him winning the Premier League with Salah or without Salah. You know, so for me, they might say, we'll take the 200 million. We make this a four year plan. Yeah. We've got to invest well. As you said, look at the players they've just let go bringing younger players. I mean, the lad, you know, don't help my dyslexic, the lad from Bayern Munich, Shabalaz. Shabalaz. was like. Yeah, but what a player. What a player. You know, for me, what a good player. You know, if you can bring in players like that, you know, that are diamonds, you never know. But at the moment, I wouldn't want to be in Jurgen Klopp's shoes. And I wouldn't want to be in Salah's, if I'm being honest, because this will twist his head. Yeah, so Bosley's come in uh, from uh, RB Leipzig. Yeah, Ryan Leipzig, Ryan sorry, yeah. Uh, could come in. Yeah, I, I don't know too it. much of him, if I'm being honest, yeah. but the lad who's coming from Leipzig is... Uh, I've been so impressed with him. I've watched Liverpool a few times this season and he's been outstanding. Yeah. I mean, w at the moment, I would say he was the best buy out of everybody at the moment, in my opinion. So, their window closes on the 7th yeah. of September. On the 7th of September, when that deadline is done, will Mo Salah be a Liverpool player, yes or no? I'm going to go no. I, 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 Neil Diamond, money talks, you know what I mean? And I, I just, I, I just, I, it's a Mo Salah situation. Mo Salah won't be happy. He won't, you know. I, I'd done it many years ago. I, was at, I went to Middlesbrough, the money was phenomenal. You know, looking back now, you know, I wouldn't have done it again. Don't, and that's no disrespect to Middlesbrough, my addictions took over. But this is mind-blowing money. This is money that... 
let alone him having to do anything again. His grandchildren will never have to do anything again. You know, it's... You've got to think, you know, he'll be finished in four years, Mo Salah, five years tops, especially the way he plays, with, he needs his pace. He's got another 50 years of his life, hopefully, to live. Mm. You know, it's a long time, it's a long time. I, I, I think, I wouldn't want to be in, I feel for Jurgen Klopp, I think with, it, with, with the Saudi Arabians, the way they're throwing money around, their windows should shut at exactly the same time as ours, because if he does go in four or five days' time, you're looking at Liverpool, it's rip up the... The, the book and you start all over again and, and you, you've got to wait till January. So I feel for Liverpool, I feel for Klopp and in a way I do feel for Salah as well. Let's just give you an update on Liverpool and Mo Salah. Alice had will not give up on signing the Egyptian forward. They haven't ruled out going back in with an improved offer after having a bid with £150 million rejected by Liverpool. One source has told Sky Sports News the Saudi club are getting encouragement in certain quarters that a deal can be done. And whilst they feel they have that encouragement, they will try again. Liverpool's stance isn't firm. Uh, the player not for sale. They have no intention of selling. And only a few moments ago, Mercy told us that he didn't think he would be a Liverpool player past September 7th when the Saudi Pro League mm. deadline is. Do you think that, in fact, now you feel even more convinced of that, given this... Well, that, that's obviously his agents ringing up the club and saying he definitely wants to come or we want, we want to come, and it's keeping them interested. It'll be up to the club, but with the money they're, they're throwing around... I don't see how another 50, they won't put another 50 million in. I mean, it's, it's not like they're, you know, looking at their wallets. Do you know what I mean? They, they got to, they'll make it 200 million and I just can't see how Liverpool can turn that down. As I say, I don't see Liverpool winning the Premier League this season with Salah. So why don't you cash in?